Hello everyone. In this lecture 26, we will understand what is info type 7 and feature SCHKZ. So, in the previous lecture 25, you know we generated a work schedule. What is the purpose of that work schedule? The purpose of that work schedule is to assign that rule in info type 7. So, what is info type 7? Info type 7 is nothing but planned working time. This is one of the info type. If you remember, I told you info type 7 is the master, uh, is the personal administration master data info type, which stores the working time of the employee. So, during my previous lecture, I basically skipped this particular info type because uh, the time management was pending. So, I, I mentioned like once I complete the time management, I will show you the purpose of this info type. Now, the time has come to show you what is the purpose of this info type. The purpose of this info type is to assign the work schedule rule. So, whatever we have generated, we will assign here. So, that work schedule rule, the moment we assign this here, all these values, if you remember, we gave the daily working hours, the weekly working hours, the monthly working hours, the annual working hours, all of them will be automatic, automatically populated based on the work schedule rule which we give here. This was in for type 7. So, in for type 7 is nothing but planned working time. So, now let us understand the purpose of this feature. If you recall my lecture about feature, so the purpose of feature is to default values for specific info types. So, each feature is basically, I would say the purpose of each feature is to uh, default the value for a specific in info type. Like SCHKZ, this feature purpose is to default the work schedule rule in info type 7. Like if you remember the feature NUMKR, N-U-M-K-R. What was the purpose of that feature? To default the personal number. In which info type? Info type 0000, which is actions. Similarly, the feature ABKRS, which is payroll area. What was the purpose of that feature? To default the payroll area in info type 1. Similarly, this feature is used to default the work schedule. In which info type? Info type 7. So, the return value in this particular decision will be your work schedule rule. So, now the decision is if the employee belongs to country 10 and if he belongs to the company code ZSCH, then that employee should be automatically defaulted to this particular work schedule rule. Now, let us go and see how basically that work schedule rule will be defaulted. I am going to PA30. What is PA30 transaction code? This is for HR master data maintenance. I am basically using the employee number which I have created in my previous lecture. I am using this employee number. I am going to the info type field. I am typing the info type number. Pressing enter. It is showing me the name of that info type. Now, I am going and clicking on create. Let us see whether the work schedule rule will be automatically populated. Yes, it automatically populated. Why? Because this employee belongs to the country group 10 and also this employee belongs to that company code GSCH. Based on that particular feature decision, the system automatically populated. So, in this way, the user, the end user do not have to know oh, what this work schedule is assigned to, uh, to this employee. So, that burden has been reduced. So, it has given uh, basically I would say an advantage for the end user not to remember the work schedule rule for each employee. If you decide in the future, this work is done. See, it is already assigned. Now, once this work schedule is assigned, you just have to press enter. Focus on these fields. What will happen? I am just pressing enter. What it did? What it did is means it basically entered the daily working hours, weekly working hours, 
monthly working hours annual working hours wor weekly work days these values came from the configuration which we basically created for this work schedule rule if you go back to my previous lecture you would see that when we created this work schedule rule at that point of time we also maintain what is the daily working hours should be what should be the weekly working hours and so on so that information automatically got populated here i hope you understood what is info type 7 and what is the purpose of the feature schkz so this feature basically defaulted the work schedule rule so you can also create your own work schedule rule create the feature uh, you can decide uh, on which particular field you want to return the value and also check in info type 7 whether it is defaulting or not if it is not defaulting here then there is something wrong in the feature you have to thoroughly make sure the feature is saved as well as activated sometime i have seen the consultants they just save the feature they won't activate you have to make sure the feature is activated so hope you enjoyed this class thank you